everyone and welcome back to another Train Sim World 3 video. Now we're doing what a lot of people and I've been quite sort of like we need to do it, we need to do it, we need to do it. We are running the 385 on the Cathcart Circle which I believe it actually does run realistically now. But on the Cathcart Circle there's been no sort of substitution so you can use the 385 as that route set about five years ago so it wouldn't really make much sense. Um, so yeah, we're in the 385, uh, and we're going to be running this along to uh, Glasgow. So ignore that saying Edinburgh, which we can actually change, actually. Uh, we've got a couple of minutes here. Um, I'll right, press that a few times, it should then change it. Yeah, and that's saying the lower. Let's do it another few times. So really, if we can get Glasgow on there, that'll be fantastic. What's that one? Bath game. I'm guessing it's doing it in alphabetical order. So if we go a few more down, that might then be Glasgow. What's that now? Oh, oh wow, there's, there's tons of A's. Oh no, it was on Edinburgh, wasn't it, before? So let's go that way. Let's see where that takes us. Because it doesn't have to be perfect. Uh, that's on Stirling now. Okay, well, I don't think we're going to be able to get that exactly onto, uh, onto Glasgow. We'll probably end up saying Glasgow Queen Street. We'll go for North Berwick. Out uh, of North Berwick. Right, let's get the door shut. Uh, so we're going to be calling up all stops into Glasgow Central. Right, we do know this route quite well, so we're going to keep that off. And let's go. Also, it's nice to see sort of how this train looks on a Train Sim World 2 route. So it doesn't have, uh, I suppose, the, uh, the lighting. Oh, wow. Well, See, it's um, not looking too great there. Our, our code apparently is 433EC058166FF1 and a whole lot of other gibberish. So, yeah, that seems to be sort of one of the uh, downsides to it. But that's fine. So, making our way out of there with our <laughs> North Berwick uh, destination on there. And it is Mount Florida next. But yeah, this was the first um, Scottish route to release. This released back in... Well, what was it? Uh, it was 2021. Yeah, June 2020. It was like June the 6th or something. 2021. And this route had a lot of input from uh, Rivet Games as well. Even though it says it's by Dovetail Games. I think Rivet probably did... Yeah, about half. I think Rivet did, she did the route. And then Dovetail did the train or something like that. So Rivet really had a lot of input uh, on this route. So I thought, let's run the 305 on it. As that's what they do do now. So I'm thinking, though, maybe at some point we'll get some sort of Cathcart upgrade pack. And it will add maybe the, uh, you know, sort of updates to make it more modern. And maybe we will see, um, this is Mount Florida. So we really need to slow down for it's very dodgy train to know. I mean, it must be quite hard for the drivers to know where they're stopping. You've got the massive gangway in the middle. So we've got the joys of the external camera to help us. There we go. Uh, what was I saying? Yeah, maybe they'll do some sort of pack, maybe. Um, where it sort of updates Cathcart Circle and makes it a bit more modern. And then you have the 385s running on it. Would anyone like to see that? I feel like that might be something they would do. You know, maybe then set it for a fiver or something. New timetable. Um, yeah, new timetable with uh, with the 385. It doesn't really seem like a bad idea, does it, really? I don't know if they would do that, though. What's that saying now? Paisley Canal. That's got all the destinations on here. Lanark. Yeah, we'll go for Lanark. Because that's actually um, not too uh, not too far from here, actually. I think that's if you continue past Newton to Hamilton. It's up that way, Lanark. So, yeah, that's not, I suppose, too, too much further away. And let's go. It is Cross Hill next. I wonder if the announcements work. I guess they probably don't, but we'll give it a go. Um, and 
let's see. Uh, maybe it does count. Yeah, let's have a look. Welcome to the Scott Trail Service 2. Okay, it doesn't work. I mean, yeah, I wouldn't really think it would. Um, but you can do it with the other announcements, though. They still are so alright. Don't forget to take oh, your belongings with you. Personal belongings with you when you leave the train. Why has that been destroyed or nicked? Pretty much. And then this is Cross Hill we come into with four coaches. So we want to find the four coach stop marker. There's a three and then a four there. So I'm going to aim for that four. But yeah, quite sort of dodgy, I suppose, to see the uh, stop marks in this train. So maybe drivers usually are quite a. Well, not a little bit off. But yeah, maybe a little bit off usually. That wasn't too bad. Well, this is Cross Hill. But yeah, you can see that's one of the um, effects sort of bringing this train onto a train similar two route has, because I think the train similar three lighting is like something ridiculous, like ten thousand times brighter uh, than train similar two routes in some way. Um, so I suppose that's why that is really bright. And same with class sixty six with the um, counter, it's really bright because well, this route is much more dull and dim than Edinburgh Glasgow. So it says they've had to. Well, that's why it's like that. Although well, the headlights are different, I think the headlights have a whole different system. They sort of just estimate how far the lights would actually go. So they're a little bit different. And it is Queen's Park next. Let's get moving. It's a lovely train to drive, lovely sounds. The only thing I'd say which is a little bit annoying about it is that really, really intrusive wind sound, which might be how it is in real life, quite possibly. It's very, very windy. So you can't hear much else really apart from just the wind at that speed. service there and this is Queen's Park we're coming into which I think the stop mark is right at the end here even for the free coach trains I think it's right to the uh, right to the end well seeing the end is quite a struggle because well it's yeah you can't see a lot that's one of the things people get annoyed about with British trains just how squished the um, fronts are Waiting for a sign. How about this one? We might as well get a collectible whilst we're here. Uh, no, can't do it in the free cam. Little, little run. Let's get the uh, little uh, choo choo puffer. There we go. You'll find these on Edinburgh Glasgow as well. I mean, quite a lot of, I suppose, the assets used on this route you'll find on there as well. But then it's a Scott Rail route, so it would be. Uh, near enough the same. Did we not put on the passenger lights? I apologise if we did it. Yeah, oh wow, that is that's really bright. Uh, but that is uh, yeah, Trainsome World. Oh, three route on a Trainsome World two route. Or Trainsome World two train. And it is Pollock Shields East next. Let's, uh, find the gap. Please mind the gap between the train and, and the platform, platform as you leave the train. As you leave the train. Love that noise though, it goes ch 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 And off you go, I love it. The hissing of the air. Yeah, 
Yeah, would there be three coach sets on the car car or four car sets? I'm guessing four coach? Well, if there was a short platform, you could look out the doors because that's a new thing you can do. Uh, if you go onto the door selection screen, you can look out. So, in fact, let's do it. Uh, I suppose what side would be the right hand side? 441101. Uh, 441, wasn't it? 441. See, it'll be that side. So, if we do that, it should look out all of the doors. So, passengers are probably going to be quite unhappy. It's really hard to know what bloody um, setting of the uh, throttle you're in. Not the easiest. So we try and open the doors. Are they gonna open? Oh, okay. Well, they did in the end. Even though I'm pretty certain we blocked them out. Unless that was the other side by accident. Oh well. Oh no, it's closing that side. So will it just close the ones we blocked out? Yeah, it's just closed the ones we blocked out. And what if we do them as well? Okay, right. Uh, well, let's just get them all shut now. There you go, let's not, let's not muck around with the doors. Now this is in Glasgow Central. Set that to forward. Oh, let's get a, uh, let's get a shot of the train as it, uh, as it leaves the station. It's just slightly slow a bit, so. Come on train. The horn's pretty decent though. Good horn to it. I like it. Uh, let's get a screenshot from this side. It just looks better on this side on this route. Okay. Out we go. Glasgow Central. So not Glasgow Queen Street, which you may now be used to hearing. Glasgow Central, which is sort of the main big deal, you know, the big station. Uh, top of, I suppose, the West Coast Main Line. That's a good point. How do trains get from... Because I think the Caledonian Sleeper, obviously that goes north of Glasgow. So how does that link from the West Coast Main Line up to... Yeah, where does that change over them. It's a question for chat. How does where does the how does the Caledonian sleeper what way does that go to link up with the other um other line? So that doesn't go to Glasgow Central does it? I don't think it does. It goes to something like Carl Stairs. There you go the other other train. Glasgow Central just down there. Very nice. So yeah, this is the Glasgow Capcart Circle, the route the first got its route in the game. And this one is by Dovetail Games, although I suppose a joint venture between Dovetail and Rivet Games. But Rivet aren't really mentioned anywhere. Looking out for signal four. 20 there as well. So, so we might be waiting as we come into Glasgow with a double yellow and a single yellow. Don't know what we'd be waiting for. Well, I suppose we're 
We'll see. Or it might be there where it says go via this line, then it then changes. How's that on service mode? Or not? Oh, I'm not too sure. I'd be waiting for that. I can't remember putting a, another train in here. Unless there is something else there, which there could be. see anything so not sure and it's not a uh, bug let's have a look oh there is a train in there oh okay I hope that one leaves soonish then what's the time now in game 16 past I'm pretty certain that one should have left by now I set that one to leave I ain't caught past 8 uh, has it got the green, or is that maybe that stuck? Maybe. Wouldn't say on the boards, would it? No, I don't think it would. Um, but yeah, that one I think should have left by now. So not too sure why it's still sat there, and we have to wait. Um, to go in. So we just contact the signal a bit. Oh wait, let us through. Wait for see. Oh, or hang on. Who, who's got? Someone else has got the clear. Really? Come on. Let us go. What I might do is try that save bug where you go through the red and then you try and save. Because yeah, I think that train may be stuck. Uh, so I'm pretty certain that was supposed to leave at um, 10 past or quarter past. Um, so yeah, instead of us waiting around, let's try that little sneaky trick. Uh, I think it's, it's not F2, is it? I don't think it even works. No, I don't think it even works. No, I haven't got this save game on anyway. Well, if I just fly ahead, then then you'll get the gist of things. I think that one, yeah, was supposed to leave, so... Don't know why it's still sat there. Just pretend this is our train now. Uh, but yeah, that is going to be it, everyone. Uh, that was running the 385 on the Glasgow Cathcart Circle route uh, here on Trainsim World. Hopefully everyone has enjoyed it. Links can be found in the usual places, the Discord... PayPal and to the merch store if you do want to help support the channel. Apart from that, thanks all for coming in. Have a lovely rest of your evening or day, whenever, and I hope we'll see you next time. See you all. Take care. Bye, guys.